Welcome to part number 30 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, the moving chicane, and today we move on to the Lightweight K-Car Cup. So, there's two races here, one at Otter Ring Mini, the other one at Suzuka. And for the Otter Ring Mini one, gonna use the boy. I said I was gonna use the OFC one for this event, but nah. A midget and a move are much better looking cars, and I don't know, they're just cooler in my opinion than an OFC one. And yeah, that one's premium, but I don't really give a damn. I'm gonna use the midget. Alright, so trying this again. So because of the severe lack of power and the severe lack of grip, because we were on comfort mediums. All I did to the car was about sports sauce. And look at that. We didn't get passed by the Honda Beat behind us this time. So yeah. I think we'll be fine. Only one car passes us this time under yellow. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Just flat out. Yeah, last time was... Six or seven second gap, now it's five. So yeah, the sports softs are really helping out. Look how fast we're going up the hill, more momentum than the other guys. Flexing on all of these other K cars. Yeah, that's all we really needed, just to upgrade the tires and, you know, we're good. Good to go. Not really using the brakes, keeping the momentum up. That's, an, that's our Wagon MR, I believe. Mr. Wagon. I know it's not a Wagon. Yep, it's an MR Wagon, not a Wagon RRRRRR. Yeah, make the corner. There we go. Damn. I didn't really need to shift down the third. Anyways, the final lap has begun. And yeah, this is going to be another easy victory. Although two attempts, we just needed to fix the tires on the car, and that was it. So remember, stay in fourth gear, no need to go down the third. Go we'll flat out with the final corner, maybe? Not quite. But regardless, we win. Yay. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yeah, that was fun. Bitches are cool. I actually like this truck a lot. Alright, time to save the replay. Now we move on to the final race of the Lightweight K Car Cup. They don't have them here in the United States, Jason. I don't think they'd even pass like any uh, crash uh, safety tests or anything. Or who knows, maybe after the 25 year rule, maybe maybe we can import one because the Heights and Move is the final car we're using, by the way. Um, this is one pearly world challenge driver named Ryan Eversley. He owns like a Honda K-Van. So we could probably bring a Honda or the Heitsu Midget here. If I really wanted to. Although I will be honest with you guys, I would import a K-Car to the United States when, you know, whichever one that I want when the 25 year rule is in place for that particular car. 
I would definitely import a K car if I had the money. Preferably a Honda Beat. If not, like a the Heights Mira slash Cure or AutoZam AZ1 or a Cappuccino. Yeah, Gussie, I think that's because of the 25 year rule. So it doesn't need to, you know, pass any smog test or inspections or whatever. Remember, I live in California, so our regulations here are probably some of the highest in the entire country. Of course, we get passed on the straight by the freaking Honda Beat, but it doesn't matter. The FF Challenge told us anything with the Demio, that is, these cars are going to get wrecked in the S's. Figaro? I have no idea what the hell that is. Google it. On the Honda Beat, you'll meet and gonna muscle our way through. Oh, wait, you have to change and remove stuff still? He's some Figaro. Okay. That I have to look up because I've never heard of that car before. But anyways, um... Yeah, I, I didn't know about that because I don't know anybody who's ever imported a car here before. I've never met a person who's had to import something. But if you have to change stuff around in order to make the car eligible to drive in the U.S., that would still kind of defeat the purpose in my opinion. The only person that I've ever met in my life who owned a car from outside of the U.S. was a dude who drove an R34 at a, at a drag strip that I that I uh, go to. And he made he basically made the car non-operative with the Department of Motor Vehicles for that single purpose, just to make it a, a race car or yeah, like a, a race car, not really upgrading or anything, but just using it as a track car. There we go, track car. That's the more appropriate term. It was kind of nice in the pretzels. <laughs> in pretzels. But damn, I mean, I, I gotta look more into this then. Obviously, I don't have the money to import cars, but... You know, down the road, if I really wanted to, I would really have to look into that. When you've been running here with the Red Bull at Suzuka, these cars feel so slow. And yeah, I know it's a K car, it's supposed to be slow, but like the, the difference in speed through the S's is just, it's so night and day with these things. Oh, yeah, Gussie, clearly. Clearly, it's an F1 car because we're going flat out through the S's. Actually, the X the 2010 actually can't the X2010 can't go flat out through the. The parts when the S's you have to lift. Which Sylvia? How about like the S15, 14? Which ones? But anyways, 
Price car time. We win another K car. We win a Suzuki Wagon R R R R R R R. But yeah, here it is. It's in black. Okay. The S13 is legal already because of the 25 year rule. Yeah, so the S the S13 will be 2024. We got another five years to go. The car is now 20 years old. Alright, so that is it for the Lightweight K Car Championship. Here's our Suzuki Wagon. And next time on Gran Turismo 5 A Spec, um, gotta move away from the beginner events to unlock some cars that I want to use for the beginner events.